What is going on guys, it's Reflex here, and shouts out to KZ Excellence for posting this on Twitter, but we got some news about Kingdom Hearts 3 and about specifically the gummy ships. Now, I know probably a lot of you just clicked off the video, but me personally, I love gummy ships, and the co-director of Kingdom Hearts 3, Tai Yasu, did an interview with Newsweek, and he was talking about gummy ships. Now, they asked what was your favorite part of the game, and he responded, I pretty much like everything, so that's a difficult question to answer, but after finishing the game multiple times, I've drifted towards gummy ships, and the gummy ship for Kingdom Hearts 3, players can explore explore a vast universe on a customized spaceship with complete freedom there's a whole bunch of hidden treasure to be found and secret enemies to be fought personally i like the edit feature of gummy ships the most compared to previous kingdom hearts games there's a lot more materials and parts to choose from you can attach unique skins such as denim cardboard fire and cheese and attach cute figures such as kittens and puppies don't ask me why but i'm currently trying to make a flying ramen stand that shoots fireballs and all the stuff he just listed literally just made me so hype for the gummy ship part of the game because I called it out that there's good probably since we actually can free roam and stuff which that free roam gummy just oh my gosh this sounds amazing but the fact that there's gonna be hidden treasure to find I called that part out there's gonna be secret enemies to find so you already know that there's already gonna be tons of you know stuff to look for and completion value to even try to 100% this game but then also you know this little editing feature that just is awesome because if he's he knows what is going to be possible in the game and if he's working on trying to make a flying ramen stand that means you can literally make anything you want if you wanted to make I don't know I've seen people go nuts with the type of creation stuff that you can do on certain games as long as uh, you can create whatever you want I mean shit you can make probably a Super Mario with a fire flower uh, skin on them and then have them shoot fireballs that'd be cool or maybe even the ice version just you could do a lot of stuff which the ice version is only for Super Mario Brothers right the new one I forget I haven't played that in a very long time but still the fact that there's it goes in that deep I kind of feel like maybe if I can have a um, you know like Tom and Jerry but then have which one is the it's Jerry right Jerry's the mouse correct correct me if I'm wrong I haven't watched Tom and Jerry in a while either but maybe make Jerry eating a piece of cheese and got like a hammer or something and the hammer shoots missiles like the creative minds that are going to be playing this game are going to create some of the most unique stuff and it's going to be so cool because someone's going to make something crazy like I mean, I don't know, it depends on how much you're able to actually create and how big you can make your ship, which I can imagine you can probably make it a little bit bigger in past games, just for the reason that since it's going to be free roam, you might be able to extend the boundaries a little bit, so maybe someone can make like a smaller Kratos, have him doing stuff, Thor, I don't know, there's so many things that you could literally do that I'm so excited about because the editing features. It seems so extensive this time around, which is awesome because that's something that even in Kingdom Hearts 1 and that's where it was the least creative. I still sat there probably for hours trying to make a really, really cool just gummy ship. And then I really liked the way Kingdom Hearts 2 was with the gummy ship missions. And then you mix those together, add even more creative stuff behind it and then also add in free roam. That makes gummy ships alone, like I guarantee people are going to actually enjoy it, but that makes gummy ships alone almost my top favorite thing going into Kingdom Hearts 3. I already talked about how much I enjoyed gummy ships in the past, but seeing how much it's going to be added into Kingdom Hearts 3 and how much you can do, it just sounds so much fun and I just, I can't wait, like Kingdom Hearts 3, come on, come to Papa, I need to play you now, but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of this information, do you think you might be a fan of gummy ship missions this time around or or do you think you'll still uh, you'll play them because you have to but then you'll not play them anymore because I think I'm gonna I don't know it depends on how much stuff you could do but I can see myself playing a lot of gummy ship stuff just ooh, I cannot wait but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if you did leave a like subscribe and you guys know the drill I will see you guys later